Researchers at the University of Toronto believe they have discovered a new blood test that would identify women at risk of having a preterm birth. There's a, a substance released by all placentas, even healthy or unhealthy placentas, called placental growth factor, PLGF. And PLGF is released in increasing amounts in pregnancy and helps support all the many changes that happen in a, a pregnant person's body. The study, led in part by fourth-year Obgyne resident Rachel Gladstone, who is pregnant herself, found that a low circulating blood level of PLGF is associated with an early preterm birth, defined as a birth before 34 weeks. The earlier a baby's born, the higher risk of complications to the brain, the gut, the lungs, the eyes. So the strategy here is to try and optimize and prevent preterm birth if it's going to occur to ensure the baby has the best start. This would mean enhanced monitoring and delivery planning, says John Kingdom, a professor of obstetrics and gynecology, also led the study. For example, an advanced plan to deliver at a tertiary center would be especially important for those with high-risk pregnancies in rural locations. And as a result, people are either um, airlifted at the last minute for, for complications that were unanticipated or leave their families in a way that was sort of traumatic. The study was conducted from 2020 to 2023 and involved over 9,000 <laughs> pregnant participants who intended to deliver their baby at Mount Sinai Hospital. They were tested for PLGF levels through a blood sample at the same time as their routine screening blood test for gestational diabetes between 24 to 28 weeks. The technology already exists. The blood test is mm -hmm. performed as part of Down syndrome screening in early pregnancy. So shifting the blood test to their, a better time during pregnancy would give everybody the chance to improve their pregnancy outcomes. Researchers hope this testing will become the norm across the country within three to five years. The next step is a randomized controlled trial that would measure the maternal and fetal health benefits of screening and costs. Researchers say they would then be able to take this critical evidence and present it to the government to prove that this test would be worth the allocation of resources. In Toronto, Michelle Mackey, City News.